Hello Highland Macross Athletes. This is a video lesson to help you with the assignment C3, the one that's about adding integers using number lines. So as the title suggests here, they're going to use number lines to help us understand the ideas or the concepts behind adding negative and positive numbers together. So throughout this assignment, they're going to give you examples of problems. The first one they give you is positive 1 plus negative 6, and they're going to ask you to pick out number lines that show you what's going on. So if I start with positive 1 and I add negative 6, I'm looking for the number line that starts out at positive 1 and then is going to add negative 6. Whenever I add a negative number, I'm taking something away. So I see this first number line starts out right here at a positive 1, and then it goes backwards by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 units. It jumps from 1 back to negative 5. And this is representing to us 1 plus negative 6. It's showing us if I did 1 and I add a negative 6, I take 6 away from it, I'm going to end up with negative 5 for an answer. So not only is this number line helping me represent 1 plus negative 6, visualize it, it's telling me, hey, by the end of it, if I start at 1 and I take 6 away, I will be at negative 5. Next up, they say which number line models negative 4 plus negative 4. So I'm going to look for a number line that starts out at negative 4 and also then takes 4 more units away. Remember, whenever I add a negative, that's the same thing as taking something away. So I'm going to look, both of these start out at a negative 4, so they both seem to have this which number line's first piece correct. They model the negative 4. But then the first one here jumps back by 2 units, 1, 2, and the next one below it jumps back by 4 units, from negative 4 all the way to negative 8. So that's telling me that this one, the second one, models negative 4 plus another negative 4. Again, anytime I s add a negative, it's like subtracting, moving left on the number line. So negative 4 plus negative 4, this number line models and shows me if I start at negative 4 and I take another 4 away, I'm going to now be at negative 8. Next up, they say which one shows us negative 2 plus 4. And I see both number lines below here start at a negative 2, so I want to know which one is representing plus 4. And I see this one jumps from negative 2 all the way to positive 2. It goes by 1, 2, 3, 4 units. So I'm going to go ahead and draw in a little plus 4 right above that. And the other one here only shows us plus 2 units. They start at negative 2, but they only added 1, 2 units. So the correct answer, the one that we're looking for, is this first number line, which shows us that negative 2 plus 4 gives us a sum or gives us a total of positive 2. Okay, the next one they ask us to take a look at, they say which number line models negative 3 plus negative 7? So as I look at these number lines, I'm looking for who starts out at a negative 3. And already I see this one starts at negative 7, and then it looks like it adds 3 by moving right. This one on the bottom, which I'm going to select, starts out at a negative 3 where it should. And then if we add negative 7, remember adding a negative is just like subtracting, and we see they move to the left by 7 units there. So if I'm at negative 3, I take 7 more units away. That's going to put me even further in the negatives. That's going to put me down at negative 10. I'm going to show one more example, and then I think you all kind of have the idea here. Hopefully you can see which number line models the situation, and then that number line can help you do the math, see what answer we get. So here we're going to be asked to add positive 7 with negative 5. They say which number line will model positive 7 plus negative 5. So I look, this first one starts at a positive 7. The next one ends at 7, but that's not really what we needed. We needed one that started at 7, and then adds negative 5, or goes backwards, takes 5 units away. This is modeling 5 plus 2, which would give you 7, 
but we need the first one, which shows you 7 plus a negative 5 would mean taking 5 away. And it's really important, I think, to see by this point that adding negatives is just like subtracting. And if I know 7 minus 5 is 2, then I also know what 7 plus a negative 5 is going to equal. It'll be the same thing. It'll be positive 2. I hope this has been helpful. If you need any additional help, if you're still stuck, that's totally okay. To get that help, please feel free to send me an email. As always, my email address is ddoherty3 at bostonpublicschools.org. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Thank you for, continue, for continuing to work hard and grow your math brain over the summer.